Today is September 27th, 2019. I have just arrived to RDU uh, to my gate. I have an 8.55 a.m. flight to Baltimore and then uh, from Baltimore all the way to Los Angeles. I'm going to Los Angeles to <laughs> uh, be on a show called Entrepreneur Elevator Pitch. Uh, we're going to film the episode all day tomorrow, so we get there tomorrow. Um, I think it's 7.30 a.m. Uh, we have to be there, and it may last uh, until 8 p.m., 9 p.m. at night. And then uh, Saturday, which is the following day, uh, I'll be flying all the way back to North Carolina. So uh, not a lot of time uh, to enjoy Los Angeles, but, um, you know, it is good to get back and, uh, you know, see my family. We could go on this show and they could humiliate us or um, it may go great, you know. It's been an <laughs> unbelievable journey so far, uh, but this won't be the last video. Uh, the next couple of days I'll continue to document and I'll let you know what's going on. I, I plan on uh, shooting you a video of L.A. traffic, Los Angeles traffic, so you can see how brutal that is. So it's 1.46 p.m. September 27th, 2019 on Thursday. I finally arrived at Los Angeles LAX airport. Pete picked me up in the rental car. He's brave to be driving in this traffic. I'm gonna show you why, if I can flip my screen around. I don't know how to flip my screen around while I'm videoing. I can't actually, great. All right, so it's 3.39, Thursday, September 29th. We just had lunch at a place in Manhattan Beach called The Kettle. Yes. The Kettle. Yep, it was very yep. good lunch. Chris yep. cost me 53 extra dollars because yeah. my wheels weren't pointed the right way. Yeah, right. yeah. we come back out and, and Pete has a parking ticket uh, on this nice Toyota Corolla rental car that we're driving. Uh, it gets great gas mileage, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and here's a uh, copy of the ticket because he, he was in the lines on the parking spot, but because he didn't have the wheel, the front wheels turned to the right towards the curb, they gave him a freaking ticket for $53. <laughs> We're gonna go 18 miles. It's gonna take us one hour and six minutes to go 18 miles. We have been going through our pitch over the last two hours. We've probably done it, uh, probably, I don't know, a thousand times. I think, I think it's solid though. I think we have a solid, I think we have a solid, uh, pitch. You know, we have 60 seconds on the show to pitch it, but I think, I think we have a solid pitch. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be good enough.
All right, so we just left the Entrepreneur Elevator Pitch Show. Uh, we did get through the elevator, um, and we did get a chance to speak to the investors. Um, only one of them liked what we had to offer uh, with our pickup and delivery um, it was software. A big ask. Yeah, we asked for five hundred thousand dollars for ten percent equity in our company. We totally did. Um, and and I, and there's just a lot for them on that show to to do. But uh, we had made our mind up before we came out here. So that's what we were going to ask for. Overall, it was really fun. It was a lot of lights and a lot of distractions and cameras and action and a little, yeah. you know, and they're like being positive yeah. and you're in an elevator and we're doing different stages where Marcus had to walk up and push the elevator button yeah. and then push it again. Yeah. And uh, it was really fun. So it was really fun. It was cool to get in there and see all those people. And uh, it was, I had a really good time. Yeah. You're, and you're not actually in an actual elevator. It's a, it's all staged really. Um, but it, it was a good experience. I think we learned a little bit about ourselves. I think we learned a little bit of how people perceive what we, if they don't, if they don't work in the automotive industry of how they kind of perceive our product, um, you know, cause there was three men and one, one woman, uh, one lady that was up there as an investor, um, that, that pushed us through the lady pushed us through the three guys did not. It was a great hey, experience. Life goes on. We're, we're going to continue uh, to push forward and move forward. Uh, cause we know what we got. We have product market fit and we have traction and, uh, we're going to okay. continue to push forward. I work in the automotive industry, so I know the pain points. I'm not perfect. I don't know everything, but I do know that customers really like using this, this, uh, platform. We're making the application as easy as possible. That's right. So we're going to continue moving forward and we're going to kick some ass. Let's go watch. Hello. at a place called State Social House. And where are we at? What, what part of LA is this? West Hollywood. West Hollywood. Near the Viper Room. Near the Viper Room. We're gonna go see, we're gonna try to go see Polly Shore tonight. He's gonna to, uh, do a stand-up. So we're gonna see if uh, we can get tickets to that. We're getting ready to leave here in just a second. Uh, we had chicken nachos here at the State Social House and they were like freaking awesome. It's 6.44 on Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday. We're headed to the car rental place to drop this Toyota Corolla off. And then we're um, gonna hop on the plane at 11 o'clock, 11.10, right? 11.10 to Atlanta. It's a six and a half hour flight but it'll be night when we arrive in Atlanta. So, it's a long day of flying. I am absolutely exhausted and tired. But well, we did get to see 21 Savage get arrested last night. <laughs> yeah, we think we saw 21 Savage yeah, was, get arrested. He was definitely him. He had, a, he had the tattoo, the cross tattoo on his forehead. I think that was him. Uh, and the, there was like nine cop cars. It took nine guys to for him to surrender, uh, even though he's willfully surrendering, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. L.A.
Saturday night, <clears throat> September 29th, 2019. It's 11.51 p.m. And I just pulled into my neighborhood off the airplane from RDU. I had to drive an hour and a half <clears throat> back to Greenville. And I am so happy to see my <laughs> to see my house uh, down the road here, getting ready to pull in. And I tell you what, an experience going out of town and, and, and doing what we did, but there's no better feeling than being at home. By far, no better feeling than being home, seeing my wife and, and my, my three kids. I know they've missed me, I miss them too. So I'm glad to be home. Abby is going to do a, um, they call it a dry try, a triathlon tomorrow at Orange Theory. So she's going to be, she's already asleep. So I'm, on, I'm not going to wake her up. She, need, she needs her rest for that. And I am going to go in and I am going to get some sleep.